equation. We have now we have a radical in the numerator. But again, we have, I look at anytime I see a fraction bar, guys, listen, very important. Anytime I see a fraction bar, denominator cannot be equal to zero. So I find the denominator and I set it greater than, oh, I'm sorry, equal to zero. I need to solve this and I need to factor it. And I know I haven't reviewed factoring, so I'm based off of what you guys did for your summer packet and what you guys remember from Algebra 2. This is basically asking us what two numbers multiply to give you 6 and then add to give you a negative 5. So this would be x minus 3 and this is x minus 2. That is not what I was, yeah, OK, that's fine. Um, equals 0. So therefore, you can say x minus 3 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, x equals 3, x equals 2. See, these are undefined values. So if I was to go ahead and graph this at 0, at uh, 2, and at 3, I have undefined values. Does that make sense? No. Yes. OK. Then I have this. So I still have to count it. You can't just like say, oh, I'm just going to worry about the denominator. So therefore, when you have a radical, set it greater than or equal to 0. It's in the numerator, so you can do equal to. x has to be greater than or equal to 1. So I find 1, and it goes to there, goes to there, and it goes all the way. So I didn't really want to do it like this. But you would have 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and then 3 to infinity. So you do the, do, you do the domain for each little interval. Okay. Well, that's good.